Hello guys and welcome back to what should be the last episode of Demon Souls Walkthrough. My name is Narcus and this is my dex build. In this video, we're going to go take on the last boss. So, head to King's Tower. Let's get straight into it. Uh, we may have, yeah, we missed it. Damn it, we missed it. We'll go ahead and loot this. We're using the hiltless for the last boss. We've got to remember to, uh, Watch our health. Top my health up. Let's go up here. Deal with the crossbow man. Pick up the loot, may as well. And then we'll. Bring this guy down and then we can just run. I don't need to kill him. Climb up here. As you, if you remember from previous video, we have already unlocked the shortcut. There's the dragon. There we go, run through there. And here we are at the lift. I'm just going to close my door, the dog just opened it. i got the dryer going off. I think I'm going to switch. I'm not going to be using a shield, actually. not going to be using a shield much in this fight, so let's switch this one out for this. Okay. A couple of things with this boss. He can do a move that's called Soul Suck or something stuff like that, where he basically sucks a level from you. So be careful not to get caught in that. He does this long pause and then he'll rush at you. You gotta roll through that right towards the end of the because uh, it's a slow attack, and then he does the like this massive AOE which you can go behind him and hit him, but you gotta commit to that or you run away from it, whichever you prefer. Uh, we've equipped the shield. We're using the regenerator's ring and the clean wing. We've only done that because we're gonna buff our weapon um, right at the very start. So. And the weapon obviously does damage to us as well, so we may as well use the healing stuff that we can. Go ahead and buff your weapon. And in we go. It's a nice cutscene for you to watch, guys.
King Oland. She reminds me of someone and I can't think of who. Alright, there we go. So right here. A couple of hits in. Dodge through these. Nah, stamina. Right, come. On. Woo! That hurt. While he does this AOE, I'm gonna heal. Be careful to move all the way back. If you lock onto him and then run back, by the time you lock off, you should be a fair distance away. You can dodge to the side of this. Again, he's doing it, and I didn't commit to that, so we're going to run backwards. Couple of hits, move backwards. This guy does give you a chance to heal. Just watch out for the AOE. Ah, uh, you got me. Oh, he got me, he got me! Alright, bro. Just realised we didn't even have the shield on. Whilst he does the AOE, I like to move away, get a heal off. There you go, he's nearly dead now. Uh, should be it. So yeah, I don't know why I healed. Basically just run, like roll through his attacks. Watch out for the projectiles that he does from his attacks. You can dodge to the side of a lot of them. Um, and that's pretty much it. Like he is not too difficult, uh, but he does hit very hard. Uh, you can go up here, you can have a look at the scenery if you want, the little vista. And then we want to go and grab his soul. How did you defeat my demonic reflection? How many souls might you have devoured, I wonder? The rest is up to the old one. If it is to be, then you shall be beckoned. Go to the Nexus. Now be careful, there's a massive hole, and you can die. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry guys. Uh, I'll go ahead and talk to the maiden. Hark, I hear a voice of yore. The old one calls for thee. 
Let us proceed below to its lair. to thy wish, a new demon. Come now, be a goon. Okay, so I'm not 100% sure and I'm not very good with law. But this, if you look at it, reminds me of Dark Souls 3 and where you fight Gale. Like, you look over here. And this, yeah, this, I, I don't know, like... I'm guessing that's what they were going for in Dark Souls 3 and there is some sort of connection um, I haven't actually looked into it I'm not very good with the lore and stuff of these games a lot of it's interpreted but there's a lot out there uh, some really good channels as well to watch but this reminds me of Dark Souls 3 very much even the way that looks kind of can see where they got the enemies from Dark Souls 3 what you drop down on hitting the head and can one shot them you know what I'm on about let us proceed below to its lair okay so here comes the real boss for yourself the pain and suffering that fills this world but this guy's possible cake walk so created the old one or poison to the poison the old one will feed upon our souls and put an end to this tragedy I didn't need to heal, by the way. You 
you fool. Don't you understand? No one wishes to go on. Go ahead and grab this. And then use one of these to return to the Nexus. Again, watch the giant hole, okay? Once you've done that, we could have actually equipped the ring to get more souls there. Uh, but that's fine. Once you've done this, you want to go over here to the smithing ground. Okay. On to the smithing ground. Come up here. I'm just gonna kill this guy because I mean we're finishing the game, so whatever. Come down here. What would be a blacksmith? I'm gonna repair all our stuff. I'm gonna upgrade Demon Brand and Soul Brand together to make Northern Regalia. That will give you another trophy. I'm also going to, now I could upgrade this, which will give us more healing if we upgrade it, or we could upgrade this. And I am very tempted to see how far sort of this gets pushed if we upgrade it. Um, so yeah, I'm not sure what to do. We've got four, right? So if we upgrade this once, upgrade this once. Do two on both, I guess. Just in case I use this more. I probably won't use this actually. I probably shouldn't have done that to be fair. Uh, but you can go ahead and do whatever you want. Like I said, this is just more for me and curious about this weapon. I don't think it's going to be worth it in the long run. I don't think it's going to end up doing more than what I do with this. Oh. If you want, you can kill the blacksmith. Do whatever you want now. We'll finish the game. We're going back to the Nexus. Okay, so when you're back in the Nexus, there is actually an arch stone here now that you can use to get back down. Uh, a couple of things. So you can do two, one of two endings here. Uh, you can kill the maiden in black or you can walk out of the fog um, if you're going for all the spells you want to walk out of the fog and get the, her soul because you can use that to buy a spell Thy which is what we're going to do son. anyway slayer of demons go back above Which is the good ending. He's walking away. No I shall lull the old one back to slumber. Go ahead, exit the fog. 
and a cutscene will play. The old one, along with the maiden, was swept back into the lulling fog. Volataria was spared from the demons, but also lost its knowledge of the soul arts. The souls lost during the pandemonium were never retrieved. And today, the unstable world has another monumental to hold its fabric together. A brave new hero of unprecedented power. And that is it. I just wanted to say thank you to everyone that has stuck with this. Like, massive, massive thank you to everyone that has stuck with this walkthrough. This is the first attempt at making a walkthrough. Um, I've been a little bit nervous, a bit unsure about my voice and stuff about loading these videos. Hopefully you found it helpful and, and uh, somewhat enjoyable. Anybody that would like to leave a comment, a like, or subscribe to the channel, that would be fantastic. Uh, much appreciate it. Um, you can also go over to twitch.tv forward slash narcus underscore all one and follow me over there for when I make um, when I go live and you can come and chat with me live in person or whatever but yeah that's it I don't know what I'm going to do now like I've played through this game a few times already um, I'm not sure where we go from here whether I keep uh, like go through make some other builds and stuff and mess around uh but everything is sort of covered in this, I think. So yeah, comments of how I can improve these videos would be fantastic. Anything to help me get better would be amazing. I do understand that I am only using a PlayStation 5 to record and to do my voice. I do not have a PC at the moment. I do want to end up getting another PC, uh, and getting a capture card and a microphone and a uh the the pop thing that goes over the the pop that goes over the microphone i can't remember what they're called but um i do want to get a proper setup eventually but yeah massive massive thank you i really do appreciate it it means a lot um i, I guess i'm just rubbing it in on now guys so i'm just gonna go let you watch the credits uh thank you all again very much and uh, yeah, Demon Souls, fantastic game, loved it. Uh, like I said, I've played for it a few times, I've got all the trophies, um, and then I made a walkthrough. Um, so yeah, thank you, take it easy guys, peace out, bye.